Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to use groups and campaigns within them. And this just makes organization uh, very easy for you to do. So you would use groups to pretty much organize maybe different clients or uh, different projects you're working on. So think of groups as folders and it looks like that as well. And in order to, to view the campaigns within them, you just click on the group folder itself, such as this. But there's none in this one. And you can just click back like this. And you can see inside of this group folder name, client tube grooming, uh, dog grooming, I have a bunch of campaigns. I have nine. Okay, so you can do different things here. You can actually select all of them at once and uh, conduct mass actions with them. So let's say you wanted to turn them all off or on or some of these other things. You could actually also move them or delete them. Now, a lot of you, as soon as you start um, using CrowdSearch or if you've been in CrowdSearch for a while, before we actually had group names, you're going to see a lot of your campaigns are all under uncategorized. So what you want to do is just click on uncategorized like that and then you're going to select all of your campaigns. You can do a mass selection and then with the selection you're going to say move to group and then you're just going to type in or you're going to select one of your existing ones if you created one or add a new group and then just type in that group name and I'll just I'll do a quick example of that with another group I have. So here's Dan Kayaking. I have five campaigns in this group. All right, so if I want to move all these to a new group, or maybe even only a couple, I want to move this and this one to a new group. So I'm going to go move to new group. I'm going to say, I'm going to add a new group, okay? And I'll type this in. And I'm just going to say, Dan Kayaking Group 2. And this might be you're doing some kind of isolated test, right? So I'm just going to say isolated test. Whatever it may be for you. And then click Submit. The confirmation box is going to, uh, is going to appear here. Let me scroll up here so you can see that. So you're going to get this little confirmation box here. And you're just going to click OK. And once that comes back, you can see that uh, by clicking on group list, you now have this brand new group. And these campaigns are inside of it for organization. All right, so that's a quick rundown of using groups and campaigns. It makes things very easy to organize. So Go ahead and uh, use that on all your new setups.